asking for uh for him is a asking for uh, directions yes and the woman show the direction for him okay yes that's right and to practice it more i want you to look at the dialogue this time okay while i'll read it again all right yes. are you ready yes all right excuse me how do i get to vigo street please vigo street ah yes turn left at the end of the street go along that road past the hospital go past the hospital yes that's it and then turn left then go straight on and vigo street is the second street on the right the second street on the right okay great thanks for your help no problem all right okay and uh, do you have any questions uh no i don't no questions okay this time let's have another activity uh let's try taking turns okay we're going to yes. read it together i'll be ken at first and you will be the woman yes all right okay let's get started excuse me how do we get to vigo street please uh vigo street ah oh, yes the left and the left at the end of the street go along that road past the hospital good go past the hospital yes that is oh and then to, uh, yes that's that's, that's it. it okay and then to left then go straight on, on. then go straight on and Vigo Street is the second street on the right. The second street on the right. Okay, great. Thanks for your help. No problem. Okay, yes, very good. Oh, can you say it again, Jasmine? Go straight on. Go straight on. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Very good. Okay, and let's try switching roles. Uh, you'll be Ken. I'll be the woman this time. Yes. Okay. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. How do I get to Vigo Street, please? Vigo Street? Ah, yes. Turn left at the end of the street. Go along that road past the hospital. Go past the hospital? Yes, that's it. And then turn left. Then go straight on. And Vigo Street is the second street on the right. The second, the second street on the right. Okay, great. Thanks for your help. No problem. All right. Oh, can you say it again? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, one more time. Say ex. Ex. Excuse. Excuse me. Me. Okay. Very good. Okay. Do you have questions? Uh, no, I don't. No questions. Okay. Now this time let's uh let's learn some vocabulary. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh let's read preposition of place. Preposition of place. Yes. Do you know what a preposition is? Uh yes, I know the preposition like in uh, on at. Yes, very good. So there are different types of preposition. We have like preposition of place, preposition of time, and so on. But today, we're going to discuss preposition of place. Okay? Yes. Okay. Oh, could you please read again? Preposition. Preposition. Okay, very of good. place. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, let's have the first word. Opposite. Opposite. Yes. So it means this one. Opposite. Okay, let's read the example sentence. The shopping center is opposite the library. The shopping center is opposite the library. Very good. Next to. Next to. The library is next to the hospital. The library is next to the hospital. Between. Between. Yes, the hospital is between the library and the barber shop. The hospital is between the library and the barber shop. Good. In sure. front. Uh, oh yes. What is the What is the barber shop mean? 
Ah, barber shop. Uh, it, it's like uh, if you want to, or another word for this is parlor. Like if you want your hair to be cut, you go to the barber Oh, shop. Yeah. ah, uh, yes. Okay, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you call that in in your country? Um, in, in my in Vietnamese, we call it cut top. Oh, but Uh, are cut there? mean cut, Cut. Ah, and I see. yes, and top is your hair. Mm, I see. Uh, how about the name for like a woman's parlor shop and uh men? Is it different in Vietnamese? Mm, no, Like, it's not different. ah, it's just the It's same. just, it's just different in English. Um, not really, but commonly barber shop is used for like men. <laughs> Oh, Yeah, really? but both both can be used in the same way. Barber shop. Yes. Mm. Okay, because I think for women they call it salon. So, uh, salon. No, This one, I don't know that. you I don't don't know know that it. word. Okay, this Yes. one. I wrote it down. Ah, ah, yeah, yes. I, I, I have ever seen their work. This Ah. word. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you for asking. And now let's have the next word, next phrase, in front of. In front of. The shopping the center shopping, the is shopping in front center of the bank. is the shopping center is in front of the bank. Very good. Okay. Behind. Behind. Okay. Could you please read? The bank is behind the shopping center. Very good. On the corner. On the corner. Okay, could you please read the first sentence only? Uh, the drugstore is on the corner next to the shopping center. Okay, very good. And on the left of? On the left of. On the left of? On the left of the hospital is the library. Yes, very good. On the right of? On the right of. On the right of the hospital is... The Baba Shop. Okay, good job. Thank you so much for reading. And so far, do you have questions or do you understand all the words? Mm. Uh, the sentence on the left of and on On the the right left of of is, mm -hmm. yes, it's, it's uh, a little bit strange for me. Ah. How, how, how can I use it? I can know the Vietnamese meaning, but... Ah, how to I use it how to use it uh, for example yes um do you know which part of your hand is left and which one is right uh this is left uh-huh that's this left is right okay so so the place that is on the left side you say on the left of it uh, on the left of yes ah for example uh For example, I'm I'm the school. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, and on the left side of the school is uh can you give me a place? Mm, hospital. Hospital. Okay, very good. On the left of the school is the hospital. So yes, on my left side. Mm. Uh so we have to turn left to go to the hospital. If now I am standing at the school. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, uh, here on the left of this one is, uh, because the direction turn left is also different. Ah, uh, you could say Yes. on the left of next to the hospital, but on the left side. Yes. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, Yes. is it clear? <laughs> Uh, I think it would be easier if I have a map there. Ah, okay. If I Anyway, if I have a map here. ah, okay, we're going to try. Okay, let's have a map. Okay, this one. Okay, just a moment. Uh, can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's say um, which part? Uh, okay, this, this part here, for example. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you see it? How? Oh, okay, this one. There is actually a phrase for this. It is on the left. 
on the left. Yes, uh, this one, this this place here, it is on the left. So everything that is on the left side. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Is it clear or do you have any questions? <laughs> mm, I think uh, okay. there, uh, I think I, I can see a truck or a car from the bottom of the picture of that of that, that map. From the bottom of the photo of the image. Okay, this yes. this one. Ah, uh, this one. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yes, and and, mm -hmm. and I can see I can see a car a car in the road, and I think um. The building is in the right side of the car. The building is on the right side. Yes, on the right side of the car. Yes. Yes, you could say it that way. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have... Okay, thank you for clarifying. And do you have questions? Uh, no, I don't. No questions. Okay, and this time... Just a moment. Okay, so we're done with some vocabulary. Okay, so how do we ask for directions? Okay, so when you ask for directions, uh, you have to remember to be polite all the time. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you could start by asking uh, these phrases. Okay, could you please read the first phrase or expression? Uh -huh. Yes. Hello, can you help me, please? Yes. Okay, and also you could say, good morning. May I ask for good. some help? Good morning. May I ask for some help? Very good. And also this one? Excuse me, could you help? Okay. Oh, could you say it again? Excuse. Excuse. All right. Okay. This, yeah. this Have you tried? Hard. Oh, sorry. Uh, the word excuse is hard to pronounce. <laughs> it's hard for me. <laughs> I understand. But with much practice, you could be able to do it. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. And have you tried using these phrases when, um, you, ask, or when yeah. you ask for directions? You do. Or you did. I, I try to I use the, uh, the sentence. Can you help me? Ah, yes. Asking. Yes. And you're asking for help. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a very common phrase. I also use yes. that. <laughs> okay, yes. And once you have their attention, you can ask for help to reach your destination. So you could do that by using some of these phrases. You could say, uh, could you please read? Uh, could, you, could you tell me how to get to the bank? Yes, and also, do you do you know where the museum is? Mm -hmm. We next... can't find the subway station. Is it near here? Okay. Where can we find a park near here? Yes. Okay. Any questions? Um. Sure. I think um mm -hmm. the second sentence. This one. I thought. Yes, I thought that. Do you know where is the museum? Ah, okay. If it starts with like do, another question form because we have like where and do here, right? If it starts only with where, you could say where is the museum? Yes. Okay? However, if it starts with another question form like do or did, is will be in the last part of the sentence. Okay. Do you know where yes. the museum is? Do you know what my name is? Mm. Oh, okay. like that. Do you know yes. what my name is? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, if it starts with, like, if where is, like, in the middle, WH questions is, like, yes. in the middle. Mm -hmm. If the WH question is in the, in the, in the first, uh, yeah, it if should it's be in the first where, uh, yeah. It should be where is the museum. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, I, 
I know it now. I can understand. Okay. I can understand. All right. Thank you for asking. And uh, do you have questions in this part? Uh, no, I don't. No questions. And if you're not sure you're going on in the right direction, for example, you are lost or you're new to the place, you could ask this one. Are are we are we on the right road to the city center? Mm -hmm. And uh, is this the right way to the moon? Yes, or this one. What's the best way to get to the airport? Yes. Okay. So if you are lost, have you tried being lost in a city? Uh no, I I because 